Hello. In this video we're going to talk about Informatica's 951 release of Big Data. This allows full processing of Informatica mappings down into a Hadoop cluster. So uh, you can call it Hive pushdown or Hadoop pushdown. Um, in front of me here I've got a mapping that is actually pulling from two Hive tables. One's customer order, the other one's customer. It goes through a joiner it actually does a lookup back into an Oracle table, does an aggregation on customer ID, first name, and region, and inserts into an Oracle table. Uh, so what we're doing here is we are going to group by um, the region name, and so we want to know how many customers uh, the first names uh, bought um, items in per region. Um, it's kind of a silly requirement, but it's uh, just it's a it's a good test to show. So in here we can actually click on the Hive table. I had already done the uh, data preview, so this is the data that we're seeing in our our Hive table, which is in, obviously in HDFS. And so, if I come out to my Oracle table, let's go ahead and uh, got some data sitting out here. So, what we're going to do here is truncate table. So, let's get rid of that. Let's make sure we got a fresh table that we're starting here. So, we have nothing sitting out there. And let's go show you the Hive tables here. So out in Hadoop, we have under User Hive Warehouse, we have our customer order table. So we have one file sitting out here. Obviously, in a production environment, you probably have a lot more files than this. And then we have oh, the wrong one now. Let's do customer. And we actually have a customer table that has a customer file sitting out here. So we have data in customer and customer order, which are both of these sources here and we have a region lookup. So we're going to go ahead and run the mapping. And what it's doing now is taking this mapping, creating HiveQL queries, and it's pushing it down into the Hadoop cluster. So if we come on here and we refresh our Informatica monitor, it actually shows in real time what's going on. So we have different queries that are being executed. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run in the background here. And so if I click in the anywhere in the center section of this mapping here and I go to properties and runtime, this is the execution environment. So it's, it says it's running in Hive. If I were to go back to um, the validation environment here, there's actually a couple different choices here, Hive or native. So native would be just running, pulling these rows from Hive into Informatica, doing the join looking up the customer and put it into Oracle. Well, obviously if you have billions of rows this is going to take or it may never finish. So if we pick native it's actually going to push everything down into the Hadoop environment. So if you look here we can actually still look at some of these queries here and what it does is it's, it's creating tables in Hive. So it's kinda like the create table as as an Oracle. So it's taking, if you notice here, the uh, low data local end path, that lookup I have. So what it did is it took on that lookup, it took the information from Oracle and now it's creating a Hive temporary table and loading it. And it's doing some more temporary tables here. And you can see here there's actually job trackers. So if I were to click on this link, this is actually the Hadoop job. It shows exactly what's going on. How much uh, time is spent, how many uh, bytes have been read, how many bytes have been written. So now it's done with its first section of queries. And now it's going on to more queries here. Create temporary, so it's creating some functions in Hive. And it's creating another temporary table. This is the final table. I've run this before, so I kind of know what it's doing here. And right here it's doing an insert overwrite. And it's actually inserting it's kind of it's inserting back into that Oracle table. So if we go back to here, it's doing the insert into this Oracle table here. Get back into here. And so if we click back on the properties here, we can click on that job task again. And it's running. We can see it's running right now. It's completed two maps and one reduce. Now we're up to the final part, which is this query number 14 is doing some more writes. We'll go ahead and look at that query as well. I mean that job. 
There we go. So it's doing one map right now. Here's the number of bytes it's read. And it looks like it's complete. So that's done. So that took about two minutes and forty seconds. Obviously it's it's a it's a batch oriented system, so it's not gonna come back in a couple seconds here. Um, it usually acts the same way if it's a you know a ten rows or if it's a million rows. Let's go into our Oracle database, select the rows here. And there's our rows. So we can see uh, in Texas, actually let's take some user pronounce, Alex. Alec in Colorado had three different orders. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions about uh, the big data edition with Informatica or any kind of other uh, cloud error or uh, big data questions, just uh, give us a ring or email us. Thanks.